favorite holidays. Um, I love everyone dressing up, everyone getting to be someone that they're not usually. Um, and Highball gives you this outlet and these models and this, you know, just this huge spectacle kind of show that you get to do um, that's not available anywhere else. So, I mean, that's purely it, is the, the ability to be on stage and have that many people see your creations and do these huge, larger-than-life things that um, wouldn't fit into any other show. So my collection all started from, I was watching Fantasia, um, and I've always loved Fantasia as a kid, partly being music, partly being, you know, this, like, beautiful artistic expression of the music. Um, and so, when I first was watching it, there's this, there's this piece by Mazursky, Modest Mazursky, who was a Russian composer, um, and he did Night on Bald Mountain, and it's this mountain that comes to life and is actually this demon that is then summoning spirits and summoning demons around it, and then every night, you know, this demon rises up out of this mountain and in the morning, as the sun rises, the demon shrinks back in and just turns to a normal mountain. Um, so I had the idea of making this beautiful girl, this demon, this beautiful woman, um, demon, and doing this gown that starts as the mountain and then it just kind of like goes up and as it gets to the top it turns more and more into this couture beautiful gown. Um, and then her hair is these massive horns, and then she has these huge 15-foot wings that wrap around her. So these are the shoes, the start of them. Um, so this is one shoe. This is one of the almost finished dresses. Um, I still have to lace the whole thing, and then put the collar and everything on it. But you get kind of the like, you know, the S&M fetish wear inspiration, but it's very like classic and very elegant, I think, in a way. So it's all getting sewn, but it won't actually get put together until the day of. Um, so like the wing pieces will be sewn, but then once I actually get there, that's when the PVC cement will be put in and the, the frame will be put into them. Um, the designers are finishing up some of their creations. You'll see sewing machines around and people gluing and sewing and riveting and um, as well as having hair and makeup done over here. We're in the very early stages of the day. We had our walkthrough at 12.30 on the main stage so all the models knew where they were going. Um, we're doing fittings, doing all that kind of stuff. But then in the middle of all that, as you can see, like makeup and hair is happening. Q's like my Prince Charming. He's given me the dress of my dreams. He's undressed me and he's buckling my shoes. Too bad he's not interested in women. <laughs> People like see the fashion show and the fashion show is like 30 minutes and they're like, oh, that's great. But they don't realize that we've been here 12 hours getting ready for that 30 minutes to make sure that everyone looks their best. This is the hoop skirt for the mountain. Um, and then the costume itself is supposed to be this extravagant storytelling piece. And so I have my one main model and then two sub models who are part of that costume. So there are three people in this one piece. And then I have my three models who are the ready to look. Really, to me, it looks dark. It looks mysterious. I love the texture, the tone of the lace with all of the different intricate beading and metal work. Like, it's just crazy. I mean, it really encompasses kind of that wicked Halloween feel, which I love. We're in the final push. Um, I feel good. I don't feel too worried about what's going on. Like. Like, I think I'm gonna make it and it's all gonna be okay. So, <laughs> we'll find out. Please don't let the wind blow her over. Please don't fall. 